Let's use the standalone version of Vision Assistant to develop the Vision script. You can find the standalone version right here. Push Windows Start button and then navigate accordingly to your National Instruments installation. I'm going to begin by importing some images to serve as the basis for the script. Look under the Examples folder, which is part of your Coin Caliber 2 project, and in particular I'm looking for the individual coins all the way through the image of the ruler. I've now imported those into the Vision Assistant image browser. First thing we need to do in terms of processing is convert the color image to grayscale. And I'm going to give the name of this first step, Extract Luminance. And then I will select Extract the Luminance Plane. If you look in the main image display, you see that it is now grayscale image, whereas of course the original image was in color. All right, the next step is image calibration. This is where we want to associate pixels with real world units of millimeters. I will entitle this step name simply calibrate. Let me select my ruler image and then click new calibration. I'm going to do the simplest possible cal calibration here, which is the point distance calibration it requires simply two points. You need to make sure that you, when you make one of these images yourself that the ruler is uh, aligned along the pixel rows as much as possible. I pick two points, the 30 millimeter mark and the 130 millimeter mark. We can see how many pixels that is, and I know that's 100 millimeters between the two. We'll hit next again. And if you want to do something with the origin other than defining it in the upper left corner, you can do so. Almost there. At this point, it prompts us to save a file. It's not very clear on what sort of file that is, but it actually is in fact an image file, PNG file, with a section in the comments that in includes the calibration information. I usually pick a somewhat meaningful name, such as Calibrate, two point. Again, notice that this is now available in our calibration file path. All right, that's the second step. The third step is the clamp, clamp rake version. Let me come back to one of the coin images and then define the region of interest as essentially the whole field of view and it's doing a horizontal search. It searches from the left and the right until it bumps into a significant edge on either side, and then it reports the distance between those two in real world units. Right now it's measuring this as 23.09 millimeters. You could also set this up to look for the coin diameter from a top to bottom search. You can also control things like the density of the search lines. For example, if I set this to 50, the step will run much faster because it has relatively few number of lines to search, but it might, might miss a significant edge too. So I'll set that back to a nice round number of 10. Let's take a look at monitoring the current distance as we step through some of these different coins. All right, that looks good. Last thing I'll do for this one is give it a little bit more useful name. And I usually like to have my names be kind of a statement of what they're doing, in this case, measure diameter. At the moment, this script has not been saved. Save file, save script as. And there is a folder in the Coin Caliper 2 project uh, one of the built-in folders called Vision Assistant Scripts. That would be a good place to put this. Coin Caliper 2. Last thing I'll mention is the way that the script steps appear here. These are the names that I typed in. These are the actual step names. You can also view this in a little bit more pictorial format this way. Go to Preferences, Configuration, 
and then choose diagram view. 